G'day ZL2 CTM. Just want to do a quick video um, looking at some thoughts and ideas uh, for the next rig. Uh, what I would like to do is to build um, a base rig. Um, I don't have one at the moment that I'm using on a daily basis. So I want to build another another base rig. I want it to be simple, um, but you know, performing well, but using simple and readily available components. Uh, I, I want it to be 80 meters and 40 meters, which gives me a, which gives me a combination of sort of uh, local communications within New Zealand, uh, as well as the opportunity to do a little bit of DX with 40. Um, I think definitely SSB and CW. I think that'd be the way to go, just to sort of keep the hand in on the on the CW aspects. Um, and it'll be. A, uh, the standard that I've sort of been using more recently, um, single conversion um, with a, uh, a 9 megahertz uh, crystal filter, which we'll talk about in a sec. Um, I want to use this um, to try some things that I haven't done before. Um, so for a start, for the, the IF amplifiers here, I mentioned during the last build that I was quite keen, or early on in that last build, to utilise the bi-directional amplifiers that Plessy came back with um, a couple of decades back. So you may recall, depending on, on how that 6 volts is applied, the circuit either uh, conducts in one direction in terms of amplification or in the other direction, so hence the, the bi-directional aspects. So I'm looking to do that um, with the, uh, the 3906 here and a 3904 here it would probably be the combination I'll use. So that'll be for the two IF amplifiers. Um, so starting on the left hand side here, so the bandpass filter will be uh, a dual one, 80 and 40 meters. Uh, quite keen to make that variable again. So uh, like I've done in the past, and it seems to work really well, and I don't, don't seem to be too many problems, is have that dual ganged uh, variable capacitor uh, with the fixed inductors. So we'll see if we can design that to have the, the, the single capacitor being able to do both sides of the uh, that particular um, filter there. For that RF amplifier there, um, might look to use a slightly higher gain uh, transistor, so maybe the uh, the 2N5088 would be uh, quite a good one for that one, as opposed to say the 3906. Now for the filters here, I'm op open to um, suggestions, but what I'd like to know is, is there any sort of interest out there to not use the SBL1, and I know there's been comments in previous videos that um, these, are, uh, you know, in some countries, New Zealand's no different, are quite hard to come by. Um, these two here I actually just recently got in from China through um, Alibaba. They were actually quite reasonably priced. Um, they appear to be new. Um, I did buy two of these just recently from the same source. Um, and they had clearly been cut off a circuit board because these leads here were about two-thirds the length of a normal one So and you can see where the uh, the diagonal pliers had cut the legs So they've definitely been second-hand and to be fair the actual um, website the um, the uh, not the auction, but um, That particular sale it didn't say they were new so um, I can't hold them to that But anyway, so back to this one here I'm probably, is there any interest in making those homebrew? So they'll be double balance mixers. Um, double balance mixers using a couple of uh, FT 37-43s and then looking to use the 1N4148s. So we'll put up a little circuit there, a little test jig just to, to measure the forward voltage uh, drop across these and then we'll see if we can get four of them uh, reasonably well matched. Um, and then we can build a, uh, or I'll look to build a, um, a homebrew double balance mixer. So I'm thinking about doing that, but uh, if there's an interest there, please sing out and uh, we'll look to do that. Um, may look to, depends either uh, early up or after the radio is finished, sort of looking again at these diplexes uh, just to make sure that the filter is adequately terminated for all the, the, the combinations of frequencies that come out of the uh, the filter. So I might have another look at those diplexes. Um, the IF filters we've just talked about, um, that'll be the Plessy 
uh, bi-directional, that's what I want to try, which I, I haven't done before. Um, for the crystal filter, I mentioned that I got these bag of crystals, I'm pretty sure I bought a hundred of these um, from China through um, AliExpress again. Uh, these are 9 megahertz crystals, so I'm quite keen to use uh, Where's Hayward's um, approach to building and designing simple crystal filters that came out in QST back in 1987. So this goes back a bit. Um, so looking at using this particular design paper here to, to build a, um, probably, well, in fact it will be two crystal filters, um, one for SSB, so probably around 2800 hertz, and then one for CW, which uh, probably be more like um, 700 hertz for those. So uh, at this stage, looking at building two, like I say, crystal filters, homebrew crystal filters, um, using that approach from Wes Hayward. Um, again, in the second, the product detector here uh, will, um, like the first one here, will be a home brew uh, double balance mixer. Now, for the audio frequency amplifier, um, what I haven't done before, and I wouldn't mind trying for this particular build, is to do a, a an analog push pull style of AF amplifier. Um, and my current thinking there is to make a combination of a, a class A amplifier feeding into a, uh, a low noise any um, 5534P is the, is the, oops, is it, sorry, is the, um, the low noise version amp and then into a, um, into a push pull, uh, a push pull amplifier um, before feeding into the speaker and that'll be an 8 ohm speaker. So that's what I'm thinking as a, as a, as a combination for that particular um, amplifier there. It's just I just haven't I've just never really played around with this push pull style before, um, so I wouldn't mind sort of giving that a go and and seeing if I can make a nice sort of low distortion, um, nice linear uh, amplifier for that AF um, amplifier up there. For the um, the VFO, again got a couple of uh, very um, inexpensive uh, SI5351 breakout boards. This one here looks exactly the same as the Adafruit board um, but doesn't have the Adafruit stamping uh, in, in a different coloured board. Uh, again from the same Chinese supplier. Um, I haven't tested this one here, I, I assume it works, but uh, again that'll be the basis for uh, for the uh, VFO and the beat frequency oscillator frequencies there. Um, so that's what I'm thinking for for the receiver, um, and then that'll be that SI fifty three fifty one will be you know, um, will be driven by the old little Pro Mini here. Um, these really are these days cheapest chips. So um, again, looking to use one of those with the old rotary encoder um, and utilizing that push button switch there to change the radix or um, the the resolution of the frequency being changed. Now for the transmit side of the house, um, I haven't sort of put too much thought into how that's going to work. Um, SSB obviously and CW. Um, I, I'm, I'm sort of tempted on the CW side to utilize that third output of the SI5351 again. Um, similar to what I did in the uh, the portable CW rig. Um, that seemed to work really well with the, the key being sensed by the, the microcontroller and then within software turning on and off uh, that third output. Um, so I'm sort of half tempted to take that square wave output, put it through a low pass filter, um, recover the sine wave uh, and then have that amplified um, uh, through the, the, the power amplifier. Um, I haven't put any thought really into how that or what configuration that power amplifier will be, um, be it so class AB, class AB makes perfect sense for the SSB, but in terms of the CW, um, uh, yeah, like I say, I'm not quite sure which way I want to go with that. Does it, does, is it going to be a push-pull amplifier, or do I want to go for a slightly lower power um, amplifier, and then have that feeding into, um, say, a, a single-ended IRF 510? Um, I've used or tried to use those in the past, um, created a little bit of smoke, uh, in one particular case it actually blew the front end off, 
Um, so it might be, you know, I'm sort of toying with the idea of potentially playing around with the uh, the 510 uh, a little bit more. But like I say, the jury's out and I've made no decisions at all on, on how that power amplifier uh, will be. Now I do want to acknowledge um, some suggestions that have been put in in previous videos. So um, I have got some spare parts here that have turned up. Um, that's the MC1350P, uh, which is an IF amplifier, as well as an NE592, um, which is a, uh, a video amplifier. Um, I just want to say that I am going to use these, uh, not on this particular build, but due to the small footprint, um, I'm going to use those in a build probably after this one, which would be another portable rig um, with SSB. So that's the idea of sort of holding those off to one side uh, and utilizing those in that particular rig there. I think the, uh, the, the footprint there will be quite small and will sort of plan well with trying to squeeze it into a, a small package. Um, so that's all I wanted to sort of say for this video. Uh, like I say, more than happy to sort of take on suggestions, but um, I think that shouldn't be too bad. And, and like I say, I wanted to sort of focus on, on simple, um, but effective. Uh, so, so rather than getting into really complex configurations with, 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 with lots of AGC going back to lots of different stages, you know, I want to sort of keep it quite simple. And um, I've never had any problems with, in terms of the way I, I operate, um, utilizing the volume control uh, to, 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 to combat sort of strong signals coming in. But having said that, um, uh, you know, depending on how this particular radio goes, once we get to the end, or I get to the end, then there's nothing, well, there's no, nothing stopping me from potentially rolling back in a, a, an AGC of some sort. Uh, but that's what I want to do there, just a, a quick video just to sort of outline uh, where I'd like to go for this one um, and like I say more than happy to sort of take some suggestions on um, on you know is there sort of an appetite or any interest in those two being uh, homebrew um, as well as that crystal filter so I'll say 73 there is yet and um, 73 is I should say and uh, I'll just go back and put some more thought into um, how this is going to move forward but uh, it'll be on the big the big wooden board again um, that's the way I like it so I can sort of see what's going on um, so that's the way it's going to be yeah I'll say 73s and uh, we shall see you um, in the next video cheers all